Hello, welcome to Bourbon and House. My name is Tristan Blair. I'm here at Eleve in Walnut Creek, California, and tonight I'm reviewing the Garrison Brothers flagship Texas Texas straight bourbon. Um, this bourbon is distilled at Garrison Brothers out of High, Texas. It's their flagship bourbon. Um, they have two other bourbons, but this was their original. They have one called Cowboy and a third that I I forget the name, but this is the their standard, if you will. 47%, a little bit over 90. Uh, it's two years old, so it's very young. Definitely on the younger side, which is interesting being that it has a very dark color, which isn't something you typically get with younger bourbons. Its mash bill is primarily, uh, they call it number one panhandle white corn, red winter wheat, and barley with water that is sourced at their distillery. So those four things, the wheat is not sourced there, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, but everything else is sourced there in Texas. It mostly being panhandle white corn. Uh, Garrison Brothers is a micro brew, uh, brewery, distillery, and it's younger, newer, each year their bourbons get better and better. I've had two or three others, and I would definitely agree with that they always say it gets better and better each year. It's definitely different. This is not a bourbon I would recommend to someone if they were trying it for their first time. It is very... Well, once I get into the nose, I guess you'll, you'll, you'll understand, but it's definitely... Uh, it's definitely something if you see, definitely pick it up. Hard to find outside of Texas unless you go online, which is where this was purchased. Uh, with that being said, we'll just get into the nose. <clears throat> a little bit of information on the side, this is bottle, bottle number 1160. Um, says when it's distilled. This is the 2014 release, for those wondering. Uh, there's been a couple before that, 13, 12, 11, I think 10. Uh, maybe even older. <clears throat> yeah, th this this has one of the most unconventional noses of all the bourbons I've ever uh, ever smelled. It's just. Corn, 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 yellow corn, white corn. You smell this, it just tastes, it smells and tastes like corn. You don't get a lot of that vanilla or oak that typically you get on the nose. Uh, you get some green corn husk, you get some wheat, wet sand, chewing gum, uh, some sugar, Belgian waffles. It's got a very sweet, <clears throat> sugary, cookie dough nose with that corn. Uh, brown sugars, cinnamon dough, snickerdoodle. He definitely has snickerdoodle. Uh, funnel cakes, like from a fair. Uh, candle wax, marshmallow, and hay. It really is one of the most uh, interesting noses on a bourbon I've ever tasted. And for that, for that reason alone, this is definitely worth picking up. Palette is crazy smooth. Virtually no spice, a little bit in the back palate. Tons of corn, very, very corny. Corn on the cob. Um, the spice that, that was in the back then covers the palate, but it's very, very gentle. You get some sweet tea, uh, slight alcohol on the back palate. It's very rounded, very bouncy. Uh, you get some gumballs, um, and you get some more wax, which comes through from the nose. It's not unpleasant wax. It's just a very almost synthetic, uh, not synthetic, little, very waxy, like what a, what a candle would taste like if you bite a candle. On the finish, you uh, there's paper, sweet syrup, you get sugars, real pleasant spice, whispers of smoke, 
corn comes back through all the way from the nose to the finish. You even get this very uh, rich buttery taste. Uh, as if you, you took some butter and just tasted it. It's very, very buttered. Buttered corn. Not salted, but buttered, buttered corn. That'd be the, actually the best way of describing this purpose, buttered corn. Uh, it, it's very... Again, not something I'd recommend to someone trying a bourbon for their first time because they would then think this is what bourbon tastes like. And this is, I've never tasted a bourbon that tastes like this. Again, a vanilla oak really not present in there. The oak a little bit, but not a lot of that vanilla. No caramels or anything like that. It's almost an anomaly too, being so dark for a two-year-old bourbon. One thing they claim is that their Rick House's aged bourbons quicker and better because of the heat in Texas, as opposed to in Kentucky, amongst other states. I don't know if that's true, but this is definitely a lot of interesting claims to this bourbon. That being said, cheers. If you see this bottle, I highly recommend it.